Hey everybody, welcome back. I am so glad that you could join me. I'm gonna make this quick because I'm running out of time for the day. If you've watched my previous videos, I said that I was making several in a row and they've all been rather short because I'm making several in a row and I only have so much space on my tablet. But anyway, I was watching one of Terry's, not Terry's, Lottie's previous videos that she made, she put out this week. Um, I will make sure and put a link to that video down in the description box for you guys so you can go check it out. But she was explaining how she made Plarn because she makes uh, mats for the homeless and donates them. I have played with Plarn in the past and I just, it did not go over well with me. I was trying to follow precise instructions that I seen on other videos and it was just totally overwhelming. But Lottie showed the different kinds of plastic bags that she uses, like vegetable bags for frozen vegetables, um, potato sacks, you name it. If it's plastic bag, Lottie probably uses it in her homeless mats, which kind of got me expire, expired, inspired because we get a lot of uh, grocery bags. I know I need to start taking my bags, my reusable bags to the store, but I always forget them. But we just usually end up having to throw bags away because we get just way too many. But she inspired me, so I decided that I was going to give an attempt to try again. If it fails, I know where the trash can is. So I have made a little ball of plarn following Lottie's basic, simple directions. This is our bags from this week. Yes, uh, grocery store, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar. Dollar Tree is the gray bag, and all the other, well, Dollar or Family Dollar and the grocery store are red and white bags. So my plan's gonna be pretty boring bag-wise, but if this goes well, then I will start incorporating other types of bags as well. So I'm looking forward to attempting this. I went up and got the biggest crochet hook that I have. This is a wooden hook and it is a nine millimeter. I don't know what letter that translates to, but this is the biggest crochet hook that I could just carry around with me that I'm not too concerned about. So anyway, I'm gonna work this up and, or attempt to work this up and see what happens. So be watching for the results, and I will see you right back here, or somewhere, in my next video.